These main parachutes help decelerate the spacecraft even further. So they deploy around 119 miles per hour and help, they'll decelerate it down to about 15, 16 miles per hour. Splashdown of Crew 11. After 167 days in space, Dragon and NASA astronauts Zena Cardman and Mike Fink, Kimia Yui of JAXA and Roscosmos cosmonaut Oleg Platinov are back on Earth. Dragon, SpaceX, we see splashdown. SpaceX, Dragon, copy, concur, splashdown and mains are cut. We are in 4.800. And you just heard that call out from the core in Hawthorne, California, to the crew aboard Dragon that the SpaceX personnel who have been in the general vicinity of Dragon's anticipated splashdown location now have the go to approach the spacecraft and begin that recovery process. Side hatch is facing forward for the crew to egress. And of course, this is different from the top hatch. You can not see that because it's underneath the nose cone at the very top of the spacecraft. And it looks like our first crew member out of the spacecraft is NASA astronaut Mike Fink. That's NASA astronaut Zena Cardman wrapping up her first mission to space, commander of the Crew 11 spacecraft. Our next crew member to exit the spacecraft is JAXA, uh, JAXA's astronaut, Kimia Yui. Yui just reached the milestone of 300 days in space across two missions. And we see the fourth crew member of Crew 11 being helped from the vehicle now. That is Roscosmos cosmonaut Oleg Platinov, also wrapping up his first mission to space. Now that NASA astronauts Zena Cardman and Mike Fink, Kim Yayui of JAXA, and Roscosmos cosmonaut Oleg Platinov are safely back home on Earth and getting checked out by the medical teams, we're going to wrap up our live coverage of their return. To be overwhelmingly clear, Crew 11 was a very successful mission. While this was the first time we had to return crew slightly ahead of schedule, NASA was ready. The team responded quickly and professionally, as did the teams across the agency, working closely with our commercial partners and executed a very safe return.